Hey everyone, welcome back. We are on our way with the trailer to pick up a new project car, or maybe project truck. Pulled up on the old Facebook marketplace, and that's what we're after. A little S10. Uh, we'll talk more about why an S10 here in a little bit. We got Alex and April. We're headed up to get possibly an S10. So I've been wanting to build a burnout car, truck, whatever you want to call it. Uh, after going to like the Cletus Cars event, seeing summer nats, all that stuff's kind of coming up and growing and all of that. So um, I wanted something, one, cheap that you just pretty much beat up. Uh, and two, if you end up doing wall taps and stuff like that, something that you can replace the bed sides or the rear quarters on simple. Like I wanted a, like an El Camino, but that is actually part of the body if you look at it, uh, part of the main cap. So uh, an S10 early s10 you can find those spare bedsides if you will pretty easy um so worst case scenario end of the season go get a new bedside and hopefully that's all you got to do to kind of clean it up and rejuvenate it and then get back to beating on it so um i also there's an engine on facebook marketplace that is up near this truck that we might go check out as well try to meet up with that guy uh and do that so i guess the guy's stuck in traffic right now but uh gives us a few minutes to check this thing out i guess so it looks like here might be the, the front fenders here it looks like there's one there i don't know what that big chunk of glass is so this might be some some other vehicle but we'll uh, take a look at it here for a second and see what we can find well burnout truck acquired so it's in here we uh we got it it's time to get it home pull all the stock stuff out and we're actually going to grab a bite to eat real quick and then go see if we can pick up a 4.8 liter uh ls for this thing all in the same trip that might just work out made it back home sorry for the dark vlog but uh got an engine too so didn't it fill much up there just had to get it and get out of there it's kind of a tight area so but here's uh, it's a little 4806 or something, I think. So we're going to get this and the S10 out of the trailer. Try to get it up into the shop. So this will be, this will be fun. Hopefully use a golf cart to help with this. Well, there she is. April's uh, hanging out in the S10. Using the golf cart, we had to take it up, spin it around, and bring it back. So we can try to get it in here. This will be the first time of trying to put Clyde under salty so we'll see how this is gonna work it's got like four or five inches so it should be good day lower the Camaro down work on salty and then the new truck I'm gonna need a name guys so uh, let us know what you think burnout truck s10 something maybe with an s I don't know um, we'll go right here and that's where we'll work on it hopefully that doesn't take it too long to get it together and then it can go somewhere but otherwise three cars in the garage that's it's pretty sweet you can almost see it back there almost thing I got this golf cart Things came in pretty handy right here. <coughs> oh yeah. We'll uh, make the strap as tight as possible so then we can get it as close as possible. Come back to you a little more. Without completely running them over. Gotta get a run out of here. Great. 
Should be good there, huh? Oh. Hiya. Woo! It's in. Chunk it and park for a second. Yeah, set it in park. Well, first little quick look. Can I do some burnouts or what? Burn you the burnout car. No. Yes. No. Yes. Put the American flag on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's the first look. Um, everything's in the back like you guys saw up there. So we got to get all that out. Ended up finding the hood as well. It's actually in pretty good shape. The only bad thing really with it is it does have some hail damage. Colorado, we get some hail from time to time, so hops kind of beat up on it. But uh, apparently it's a lot of a lot of leaves, you know. But that all will be coming out. Get some parts coming to get the 4.8, which we still got to get out of the truck over there, and we'll get it. Got a stereo though, HID lights. Oh yeah, it's some detailer. No problem. Oh, there it is. Good old 4.8. So it's uh, supposed to have like 100,000 miles on it. It's got all the accessories, the alternator, power steering, which probably, I don't know about power steering. Maybe try to keep that. Um, delete the AC because it wants to hit the frame rails on these things. Um, go to a different intake, probably injectors. And then figure out an EFI system for it. So. Otherwise, not too bad. Um, 4.8, pretty much bulletproof. Yeah, I'm thinking NA, big cam, tall rise intake, lots of RPM, methanol, and go from there. So lots of lots of cool little things that I don't know if I've really seen anybody like an NA methanol LS, which why would you, but for this, it should work out well. So I uh, got to get a couple things coming to swap that in. Get the stock tranny and engine out of this thing. Last night, I was over at Alex's, and uh, we were talking about it. And then we found this S10, and then I found a 4.8. Couldn't sleep all night. I was trying to piece, piece parts together to figure out what I was going to do here. So, um, kind of the reason for this whole S10 deal is I've been wanting to do a burnout car. Um, all the stuff in Australia, and then Garrett Cletus has been doing uh, at his events big burnouts. Uh, competition type deal. LS Fest now has a burnout competition. So it's kind of growing. I see it gaining traction here in the US. Um, and I want to go do some of that. And it's uh, it's a good time. Some of possibly to help me grow the channel is to go to things like Cletus and Cars where there's a bunch of people. Um, Garrett even made a post. I might throw it up right here that says like if you're a company, uh, it's a good idea to build one because you get a bunch of exposure. And there, it's true. You get, there's a ton of people there. So I um, figured why not shake it up go all out and try to build uh, a burnout truck. Um, I want to do something, like I said earlier, El Camino-ish, uh, maybe something with a bed so I can put like a huge radiator, maybe a huge um, transmission cooler if needed, if it starts getting hot. It'll have a glide behind an LS. Um, and then some of the idea was um, I can remove the bed and replace it because at a lot of those events, they'll do wall taps. So, uh, go full sin and rub it up against the wall and everything well so many wall taps you're gonna end up with a vehicle that's looks like a demo derby car if you will so uh, I think this way I can um, replace the beds and kind of keep the truck fresh if needed we'll see I think it's gonna work out it's kind of short wheelbase it's narrow so it fits in places easier I originally wanted to take Clyde down to like his events and do burnouts in it but with the 6L80 and some other things I just it's not the right build um, the electronic throttle, it just it isn't quite where I'd want it to be. I mean, it would do it, but if you've ever been at the events, the burnouts there are just incredible. Uh, huge burnouts, you go till the tires pop, you rub it up against the wall. Well, you rub Clyde up against the wall and crinkle a rear quarter, you ain't finding another one for this thing. So Clyde will stay what Clyde is. A few little things this next year for race week. Do the S10. Um, so here, here's kind of the cool part, right? I ended up picking this up with a title for 350 bucks. So super cheap. Uh, that's why it's kind of rough. Not worried about it so much because I'm going to go beat the crap out of it. So engine, I think what I give 680 bucks for a 90,000 mile 4.8. Um, eh, not the best deal, but good enough deal, I think. Uh, so I am into all of this for like bucks so far. Um, do a few things. I have a spare power glide out of the Camaro 
that I think will go in it. Um, possibly I'll need a rear end. And then a few other little things. I definitely want to try to do the Holly like high ram style intake maybe with dual throttle bodies and then big air cleaners and all that. Keep it out of the hood, crazy. And probably my favorite part that is going to happen to this is I need to build a set of zoomies. So looking at this, it's going to be kind of tight, but bring it down, tuck it back in that little portion, and then bring them out maybe right here. Uh, so M1, M5 methanol, zoomies, 7,000 RPM, and a whole lot of smoke. That's the plan. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens with it. So if you guys want to stay tuned with the LS Swap S10 or any of the other projects, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.